Hi, welcome to day two of finding the surface area of right rectangular prisms. So today we're going to continue talking about cubes. Cubes are a 3D shape or figure that have each side that are equal. So all of their faces are squares. And you'll see this cube, you can only see three of the faces, but the other three would look exactly the same as this. And don't forget that a net is what happens when we unfold it. So when we unfold a prism, we will get the six, for, in, for this example, there would be six sides and we would see the six sides. Now this net does not match that cube, but just to get the idea, that's what a net is. And let's talk about the parts of a cube. So this is an edge. It's this part. There's lots of edges. And that's the part that we usually have a measurement for. It says like two centimeters or something like that. This is the face. Okay. And if this was like, you know, the head of a robot, that's where the face would go. But it does have six faces. So it has the three that you can see and then the three that you can't see that are on the opposite sides. And then this we're gonna call vertex. It's basically the corners where these different faces meet, okay? So let's talk about how do I find the surface area of a cube when, it, when I'm given this and it says that it's three feet. So that means this is three feet, this is three feet, Basically, all of these edges are three feet. Now, you don't have to write all of them, but I'm just showing you that they are all the same. And even this one, all of them are three feet. Okay, so what it, what we have to do, it's similar to what we did yesterday, is we need to find the surface area of this one square. So three times three is nine. If we cut this like this we would get nine squares. So we have nine, 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 and then the three we can't see. So we did three times three equals nine, and nine times six equals 54. So just like the one yesterday, this is the cube version, and it would be 54, this time we have feet, and we're talking about 54 of these squares to cover the entire cube. So it's gonna be squared. Okay, let's look at another example. So just like we said before, how many sides are there? How many faces? One, two, three, and then there's a three you can't see. So a cube has six sides or six faces. And so we know at the end we're gonna times it by six. Now we need to know how much is this one square? Well, it's eight here. That's a weird eight, okay. And it's eight here, so it's eight times eight, which is gonna be 64. So there would be 64 squares inside of here, and we're gonna have 64 here, here, and on the three that we can't see at this point. So we're gonna do 64 times six. And if you're not sure, you can obviously pull out your calculator and do that, or if you have to, you could just um, do it out by hand. But 64 times 6, when I do my mental math, I would do, um, and this is going to be the surface area. You could put a variable there if you want. Um, but when I do my mental math, I do 6 times 60, which is 360. And you can, if you can hold that number in your head or you can write it down. And then I do 6 times 4, which is 24. And then when you add them together, you get 384. Okay, you can do that in your head, or if you need to, you can write it down. So the surface area for this cube is 384 centimeters, but they're not regular centimeters. We're not going around something. We're literally talking about cutting this up into squares. So it's going to be 384 centimeters squared or square centimeters. And that is, once again, if we're shading, how much area is this? If we were painting it, how much 
area is it? And it's not just the area of one square, it's an area of the entire surface. Okay, so there you go, and we'll talk again soon. Bye.